one. I mean, that's a good one, but that wasn't really the one. Because I thought it said, um, what is it, um, the weapons are going to be buried in, something to that effect. Oh, they're beating their swords into plashes. No, we've read that already. Oh, read that cool. already. Um, Tell you what, speak, brother. Anyone speak, speak on something. I ain't got nothing to say right now. Uh, so where so was you before? Where was you before? I was on um, Isaiah chapter 2. Isaiah chapter 2. Go, 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 go. Isaiah chapter 2, going back to um, 4. And he shall judge among the nations, and shall rebuke many people, and he shall beat their swords into plowshares. So, so there's going to be a point where you brothers, man, that's, that's in this truth, that's in this word, that's in the Lord, Yahweh and the Son, Yahweh Shai, man. You're, you're going to be made judges, man. Mm. Okay? You're going to be made kings. Alright? in verse 10. You're actually going to have crowns on your heads, man. You know what I'm saying? You're going, you're going to have literal, physical thrones you're going to be sitting upon. All right, it goes into um, Esdras, the second Esdras where it says, um, the Lord, there was a young man taller than all the rest, on, on our heads, he put crowns. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's, the, that's, the, that's the, where the point where we, we all graduate. We all graduated from apostleship into being kings, noblemen, okay? Entering into the gates of the nobles, man, all right? Because right now, what are we, we're um, the, um, the Lord has set the apostles lost, as it were appointed unto death. So we're gonna graduate, man. You know, like in university, when you study for like three years, a certain uh, 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 module, a certain course, Say future ruler, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's right, that's right. Yeah, yeah. And then um, you know what I mean? So you study for three years, right? <laughs> and then um you know the spirit, spirit in it. <laughs> <Be my daughter. laughs> and then um obviously there's like um a ceremony where you all wear them that little that little hat, that little square top hat thing in the garment and you take the little white little scroll thing you know to show that you've graduated you've actually passed you know what I'm saying and now you're being rewarded for mm. your for your achievements yep. you yeah. know what I'm saying for your works exactly so what that's what's gonna happen with us we're all gonna graduate mm. you know oh. what I'm saying we're all passed we passed we overcame we overcame yep. you know we overcame through the faith of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, man. You know what I mean? And we're gonna be in a, in a chat, the scriptures talk about a great multitude, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Gathered, man. Uh, so somehow, it's either we're gonna be in the chariot or we're gonna have to have come down from the chariot to receive that graduation. Because a crown is what? A symbol. Right. A crown is an actual symbol, okay? That shows rulership, all right? <coughs> so we're all gonna get that, that reward. That that's crown. that symbol, that crown, to show that who we are now, okay, is that we reach a certain status. Mm -hmm. A declaration is going, it's going to be, your Howard Shah is going to make a declaration. All right. Yeah. So like, when you see a man wearing wearing a crown, that's that's how you know, okay, that's the king. Right. Because he's wearing that 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 symbol of rulership. Mm -hmm. And that's how you can notice a king. So that's yep. what we're going to get. The scripture says we're going to judge among the nations, man. Yep. All right, so we're going to be able to sit upon thrones and have have the uh, be qualified enough to judge those nations. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? We have to be qualified. Oh, I've got you, know, you can't just start being a psychologist. Mm. You didn't go through the, the study and the schooling yep. to become that you know psychologist and then be qualified and then graduate. You know what I'm saying? And then you can find a job in that area. You know what I'm saying? And then you're employed, and now you're an actual, you can say that, yeah, my profession is I'm, I'm a psychologist. Yeah. That's what I am. Yeah. What it is with us, right now, we're going through, the most high school in us. This right here, this is a training program. Yeah. Brothers are being trained in ratchets. We're being schooled. We're actually bouncing off one another yeah. with this knowledge, man. Okay? Absolutely. We're dwelling into the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, plus the spirit from on high is working in the midst of us mm. for us to understand what we're reading. And, 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 and to, um, to add what you're saying also, what's happening is that we're suffering. Mm. Brothers are sick, brothers got all kind of illnesses and stuff like that. And, and that's 
to make you like, that's for you to overcome also so that you can, right so that you can be qual like you said qualified because you went through you went through the work you've, you've put you've made an effort you've, you've went through the fire according to um zachariah um oh, man zachariah 13 and uh, 13 eight, and eight, yeah eight, 13 eight, and eight and nine yeah so nine, yeah, nine, yeah. yeah so if you in order for you to be saved yeah, the third part through the fire. In order for you to be saved and to receive th those rewards, you have to go through the fire. Right. And what we're going through is, a, is you know, is a little bit of the fire, but the fire is going to be the time of Jacob's trouble. Yeah, you know, so you got to be yeah. qualified. That's huh. an intense fire, man. Yeah. I was thinking about that on day. Come on, come on. Uh, Revelation 21 and 5 says, And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Right, for these words are true and fa faithful. Mm -hmm. And he said unto me, It is done. The Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. And I will give unto him that is, that is a thirst, thirst of the yeah. fountains, a thirst, yeah, a thirst, of the fountains of water of life freely. Freely. Uh -huh. See that? That's what we're doing. Go ahead. Go ahead. And he that overcometh shall inherit all things. Uh -huh. And I will be his God, and he shall be my son. Him that overcometh, man. That's, that's, see, that's that graduation. Yep. You're going to inherit all things. Then cometh the flow of our reward, man. Mm. Okay? Which are the things that our ancestors were earnestly expecting for so long a time. And we're actually living in those times right now, man. Huh. Lord willing, there's none here brothers that's going to taste of death, man. Yep. Okay? But that's, that's a good scripture. Uh, hold on to that, innit? Um, what are you talking about? You was talking about yeah, suffering, the, um, suffering. Yeah, the suffering. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> suffering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was talking about that. You're going, 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 going. Yeah. yeah. Suffering is, stay, stay on the Isaiah 2. Because suffering is a part of what we need. Oh. Okay. To humble us, too. Yeah. But, um, you can't sit on a throne and judge people who are suffering and not know what it's like to suffer yourself. It's not it's hypocritical. How can you truly judge and judge righteous judgment when you don't even know what that's like? Mm -hmm. You know, to judge a man who's in pain, to judge a man who's sickly and poor, mm -hmm. to judge poor, the, the poor, God. you know what I'm saying? The sickly man, uh, 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 uh. you know what I'm saying? The homeless and stuff, man. So judge those people. types of people, yeah. Just to continue what you're saying, like, um, for example, we're in the flesh. Mm. So, in order for us to go, in order for us to judge the people of the flesh, we have to understand what the flesh is exactly. all about. Exactly, exactly. Because remember, when we're judging people, we're not going to be human. Mm -hmm. We're going to be immortal. Judging mortals. Mm. Judging human beings, man. Judging people after the flesh, man, that think sin. Mm. <coughs> that think sin. That sin is in their members. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The scripture says flesh and blood will imagine evil. So these, these people that we're judging imagine evil. We're not gonna imagine evil anymore. But it's gonna say flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom. So we're not gonna be up, we're not gonna be like them. We're gonna be holy as the Lord is holy, as our God is holy. But we're going to actually be holy. You know what I mean? So in order for judge people after the flesh, we need to have known what it was like to live in the flesh. Live our lives in the flesh, man. Because the scripture said we hated our lives until death because we hated being in that flesh, man. Because it was against our, our spirit, man. It was against us. We were at war with it. So we needed to be released, man. We needed to be released. We need to, to be released from that, man. Right. All right. And it goes back to the Garden of Eden when um, Eve pretty much transgressed and um, Adam followed through. And um, what was the transgression? Because the Lord didn't want to allow Adam and Eve to get the know-how, what is it, knowledge of good and evil. Yeah. He just wanted them to have them know what was good. So because the deception came through uh, the serpent and Eve uh, was deceived in the garden, and uh, let Adam now, we have to go through the ups and the downs. We have to go through the downs in order for us to be up. You understand? So that's a part of it too. But yeah, like the brother is saying, we have to 
suffer and go through the pain and the suffering that we're dealing with right now so that we can then appreciate. And that's another thing too, appreciate what we're gonna get next. And that's something that our elder elder said, um, high priest uh, Yaikwa, I believe. I believe that's how you uh, pron pronounce him and his title. He said the same thing. The reason why we're going through the curses is so that we can appreciate what we're gonna get on the other side. And once we appreciate it, we're gonna, we're gonna grab, we're gonna cleave onto it. We're gonna hold fast to it. We're not gonna let it go. But we're not gonna let it go anyway because we're gonna have those immortal bodies and we're gonna have, um, what is it? We're gonna have the ability to do the, just the right thing. You know? Because um, Paul, he was a um, murderer of the yeah, elect. I know where you're going. Philippians. Okay, Philippians. So that's where it, where is it? So that's what it's all about, man. I'm sure I think it's 3, 3 15 something. Third chapter, I think. And that's why, you know, when we come out here in the hours and the Bibles, we gotta deal with the elements. Especially, um, you know, prior before we had to deal with the people and, and all the above. So that's a part of what is it going through the fire, going through the afflictions. Yeah. Getting arrested and, you know, is that it? kind of sort of thing that, you know, we had, we had to go through that. There's a saying in um, combat, um, fight hard, train hard, fight easy. Yeah. So it's a similar thing now. We're training now. Yeah. You know, in combat, it's the same thing. They train and they take, you know, in combat, as in the, as in the military combat and, 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 and also hand-to-hand -hand combat. Same principles. So that's what we're doing now. We're, we're most it's of training more. It's thrown us in the deep end. Yeah. For now. That's all it is, yeah. And this is just a test. No, it's not fearful. This life ain't nothing but a, it's nothing but a test. And you know, too, like even your parents told you growing up, man, like this is a test. Even they kind of knew on, on, on that level, you know what I'm saying? So, mm. people always knew. But what it is, is, is we got to just go through it. Mm. And just know, at the end thereof, it's, it's, it's going to be, um, as they say, the light at the end of the tunnel. Right. But anyway, this is the scripture that I wanted to get early before in Ezekiel 39 verse 10. 39 verse 10, if you can, I'll give you that. What um, was it? Because I was dealing with the weapons in it. Um, I had it, what was it, Ezekiel 39 10. verse 10, yeah. Still got that. Yeah. And then we can, and then the brother can speak about what he's, what he's speaking about. Basically jumping backwards and forwards. Ezekiel 38 and verse 10. Thus saith the Lord power, it shall also come to pass that at the same time shall things come into my mi thy mind and thou shalt think an evil thought. And thou shalt say, I will go up to the um... No, 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 Salak, yes, look, you're in 38, 39, 39 verse 10. Ezekiel 39, yeah, that's, that's Ezekiel 38. That's the prophecy of um, Russia. Ezekiel 39 verse 10. Yeah. So that they that take no wood out of the field, neither cut down any any out of the forest, for they shall burn the weapons with fire, mm. and they shall spoil those that spoil them. Yeah, so that's the that's the one I was that's the one I, I, I wanted to I'm getting to. They shall burn the weapons with fire. So not only are they going to burn the dead bodies in the pits, but they're also going to burn those weapons, fulfilling the scripture in um, Isaiah chapter two, because we're not going to they're not going to need those those weapons anymore. There's not going to be no more war heard in the land. So again, if the, if the, if the so-called Jews are saying that they, what they are, then there shouldn't be no war. And uh, World War III should have already happened, which actually there was a World War during that time. There was World War II. So around World War II, from that time, there should have been no war. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And when they got to the land in, 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 um, in Israel, they had to go deal with those Palestinians, those Arabs down there. So even when they got down there, they had to fight. There was a war. So again, it doesn't, it's not leading up to them being a people. You know, going back to Isaiah chapter 2. You know what I'm saying? If, if you got any more in Isaiah chapter 2, bro. Verse 5. Oh, house of Jacob, come ye, let us walk in the light of the Lord, Jehovah, where you have a shine. Yeah, so that's supposed to be going on, but that's... The reason why that's not happening again, because again, as I'm going to say, the unseen time, they're not the people. 
we're the people. So when we get into that land, people are going to want to follow the ways of what we're doing. That's what's going to happen. That's that's the intent of the Most High and His Son, the, the Mashiach. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue with Isaiah 40, uh, 40, 41. Yeah, 41. But what, what what I'll do is it's because it's a lot in there. So I'll let you know. I'll, I'll, I'll let the Wad get in what you know, get his thing in, and then I'll come back later on that. Isaiah 41 and. I'll finish off with hours free. Yeah. You just, you just give me one more scripture and then you know I'll, I'll come back. Yeah, go on, bro. Isaiah 41 and 3. He <coughs> pursued them and passed safely, even by the way that he had not gone with his feet. Mm -hmm. Who hath wrought and done it? Calling the generations from the beginning. Yeah. I the Lord Jehovah, the first and with the last, I am he. Isn't it stated in the Revelation? It says that he is the Alpha and the Omega. Omega yeah. The first and the last. Go on, brother. The owl saw it and feared, and the ends of the earth were afraid. Drew near and came. They helped everyone his neighbor, and everyone said to his brother, Be of good courage. Yeah. So the carpenter encouraged the goldsmith, and he that smoothed with the hammer, him that smote the anvil, saying it is ready for the soldering. And he fastened it with nails that it should not be moved. But though Israel art my servant, Jacob, who I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend, whom I have taken from the ends of the earth. Right, whom I have taken from the ends of the earth. So, again, I mean, I don't mean to keep talking about them, but like, I, like I'm going to say again, if they're the people of the Most High, they would be scattered. They wouldn't just be situated in, in, in Israel. They would be all over the place, literally out, out of the land of Israel to be exact. So there's a people that the Lord has chosen and in the latter times, they're going to be outside of the land of Israel. Mm -hmm. They're going to be all over the place so that they can return back home. And the way they're going to return back home is through the Messiah, through the thousands of heaven. It's not going to be by the British of them returning back to the land. It's going to be by the Messiah. We're going to be beamed up. Lord willing, we are those men. Okay, because none of us are sure if we're the elect. But we, we believe in that. Okay, and when that happens, that's when the prophecy is going to be fulfilled. Go on, brother, read that. Though whom I have taken from the ends of the earth yeah. and called thee from the chief men thereof. And called thee from the chief men thereof. Like it says in the scriptures, the scripture says, um, get unto thee the great men. Because we're the future rulers prepared to rule the next world. As I've just said earlier before. Go on, brother. And said unto thee, thou art my servant, I have chosen thee and not cast thee away. Right, I have chosen thee and have not cast thee away. Just like how... Um, the carpenter, go back to the, what the carpenter was saying when he said it was sudden. Verse 7, so the carpenter encouraged the goldsmith, and he that smootheth with the hammer, with yeah. him that smote the anvil, yeah. saying it is ready for the soldering, yeah. and he fastened it with nails that it should not be moved. Yes, yeah, so the anvil was fastened that it, cannot, that it cannot be moved. So he was comparing that to Jacob. It was a metaphor for Jacob, that Jacob would not be removed. Because you know how the, the Muslims would always say, oh, well, the Israelites went off, so the Quran came and uh, Muhammad, he was a prophet unto all, everybody. Like, that's what most people say. But the Lord has not cast away his people. That's where right. Paul got that from, read that. But thou Israel art my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. Right, the seed of Abraham, my friend. The people that he established the covenant with. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that's the seed of the covenant. So the seed of the covenant, that's who he's dealing with. That's who the Messiah died for. He died for those that were under the covenant, the covenanted people. He didn't die for everybody. Go on, brother. So, whom I have taken from the ends of the earth, mm. and called thee from the chief men thereof, yeah. and said unto thee, Thou art my servant, I have chosen thee, and not cast thee away. Right, and I have not cast thee away like the envil was, was, it, what is it? it was sealed. It wasn't going nowhere. So he wasn't, so the people of Israel were never cast away. Yeah, they went off time in and time out, and the Lord really put us on time out for a period of time. He turned, turned his back against us. Yeah. But that was for a period of time. And within that period of time, he was going to awake to the truth, as it says in the scriptures, that the children of Israel shall remember themselves in their captivity. Oh. That's us returning back to the, to the Most High. That's a part of the culture of us, is knowing the, the Creator. Uh, Isaiah 1.10 says Yet the number of the children of Israel Shall be as the sands of the sea Which cannot be measured 
nor numbered and it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them ye are not my people there shall be there it shall be said unto them you are the sons of the living god yeah it should say unto them that ye are the sons of the living god so the remnant are going to return which are the chief men and see this is the thing when you come out here man you got to bear these demons you got to bear these yeah. spirits out here like 